and Jenny would never turn down a new pair. Jeans and shoes. Are you kidding? Bob, on the other hand, will never admit he needs anything. He's a man. What is it with men anyway? Now all women's, men's, and kids' $9.99 shoes are just $8.99. Two pairs, $7.99 each. Three pairs, $6.99 each. The Pay Less Shoe Source. Buy more, pay less sale. You think there's anything to this women in shoes thing? Pure myth. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Retail Archaeology. Today we're going to be taking a look at Payless Shoe Source, and we'll be taking a look at a strip mall location and a location in a mall. Now something interesting I've noticed is that the strip mall locations will often have the older Payless Shoe Source logo, and the locations in malls will have the newer logos and signage, but that's something we'll see later on at the mall location. Payless Shoe Source was founded in 1956, and after 61 years, they have filed for bankruptcy in April of 2017. This video was filmed shortly after they filed for bankruptcy. With the announcement of the bankruptcy, they also announced that they plan to immediately close um, about 400 stores out of the 4,500 stores they have. Payless Shoe Source appears to be a victim of what's been recently called the Great Retail Apocalypse, which started in 2016 and has continued into 2017, and is basically a wave of bankruptcy and store closures across all kinds of major retailers. I mean, Sears has been affected, I have a video on that, uh, JCPenney, even GameStop with a lot of store closures announced, and then Payless Shoe Source with the filing of their bankruptcy. Now, I grew up going to Pay Less Shoe Source in the uh, late 80s and early 90s, and I recently went into one just to take a look and was really shocked to find that it looks very much like it did when I was a kid still, which I thought was pretty interesting. Something else I found that was interesting is that at one point, Pay Less Shoe Source was owned by a holding company called Collective Licensing International LLC which also ended up buying brands like Airwalk and Vision Streetwear and Above the Rim, so all brands from my childhood. So it turns out there's a lot of 80s and 90s childhood nostalgia wrapped up in this place and I figured it was important to document it before it maybe goes away. Especially since, like I said, it looks just like it did when I was a kid. Hello there. I remember as a kid thinking those shoes were stacked up so high, and as a six foot four dude, they're still stacked pretty high. This initial footage was filmed at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so there was a lot of sun shining through the windows, which made it difficult to film some parts of the store, but fear not, I came back again later on in the evening on a different day and got some more footage of the areas that are kind of hard to see. If you look at all the shelving and signage and fixtures in here, it does very much feel like the uh, 80s or 90s. As a matter of fact, look at this commercial from 1989 and you'll see what I mean. A lot of the fixtures and stuff in it look the same as these. Right now at Payless, buy any two pairs of shoes in the store and we'll give you a third pair free. Let's see, that means I could get two pair of pumps and one free sneakers. No wait, two sneakers and one little flat. Oh, no wait, one sneaker, one pump, and one little flat. Can I change that? Once you make up your mind to come to the Payless Buy 2 Get 1 Free sale, the rest is, well, easy. I know I could keep two pairs for me and get my husband one. Nah. Payless Shoe Source. Buy two, get one free. Hurry, sale ends October 23rd. Now, the rest of this footage at this location was filmed in the evening. Now, while I was here this time, I actually did buy some shoes. I bought a pair of Airwalks, just like I used to buy when I was a teenager, and I bought a pair of uh, sneakers. 
And I'll tell you what, the Airwalks were a lot cheaper than they used to be when I would get them when I was a teenager. The Airwalks were on sale for $19.99 and they were doing a buy one get one half off sale so I ended up getting it for 10 bucks. I used to buy Airwalks at Journeys in the mall and pay like $80, $90 sometimes for a pair so wow how times have changed. So you can see here there's not that intense sun shining through the window and we can get a little bit of a better look at the front of the store. Now what was interesting too was both times that I was here it was quite dead and very understaffed so it was pretty easy to film lots of footage of the store. But as you can see it very much looks like that commercial from 1989 in here. Nothing screams professionalism like a handwritten sign. But at least their POS equipment appeared to be updated unlike some other retailers we've looked at on this channel. Did you get that green one with the... I did. <gasps> you didn't. I did. What about that? I did in plaid. You didn't. I did. What about shoes? Not yet. Pay less. Done. Dress up just about any outfit during the Payless Dress It Up sale. A fabulous selection of great shoes for women and girls. So anyway, do we tell Dad? Don't have to. Went to Payless. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? And here's a Payless shoe source located in a mall. And as you can see, it does have the updated signage. And as you can see, it doesn't look a whole lot different from the other location. Maybe slightly updated. It's a little brighter in here, and the store does feel a little roomier. But all in all, it's kind of the same fixtures and everything, and very much that time capsule of late 80s, early 90s feel to it. I'm sure a lot of us have memories of sitting on those little bench things while uh, the store clerks helped our moms measure our feet with those metal shoe size things to make sure that we got the right size shoe. I wonder if that personalized kind of service is still a thing in Payless Shoe Source stores anymore. I don't know if it is or not, but it would be cool if it still was because that's definitely something that a brick and mortar store would have over the internet. Crazy consumerism in the late 80s and early 90s probably caused brick and mortar retail to be overbuilt and that's part of the reason why it's hurting as well as internet sales. So. Hopefully there can be a balance found because, like I said, I think there's still a place for brick and mortar with things like personalized service that you simply just can't get on the internet. It seems like Payless shoe store stores are having a lot of the same problems that malls in general are having. And I hope malls and Payless shoe stores are able to solve their issues because I'd hate to see either of them go away. If you've got any memories of shopping at Payless Shoe Source, let me know what those are down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for checking out this episode of Retail Archaeology. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out some of these other videos. And if you're into retro gaming, don't forget to check out my retro video game channel. And lastly, make sure to follow us at the social media links down below. That's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.